Yeah, right now we're standing on the uh, 1822 Clinton's Ditch towpath and we're about to hit the intersection up ahead where it crosses the towpath with the enlarged area canal. So this is kind of a unique spot where you've got the two towpaths actually intersecting with each other. We're standing next to uh, an abutment from the old rs and &E line, the Rochester, Syracuse and Eastern Trolley Line that uh, was an electric trolley that ran all over this area and connected into other lines all across the country. And this, this abutment on the far side and right next to me crossed over the enlarged area canal. My, my great grandfather was actually a trolley conductor on the rs &E. We've discovered that this uh, southern um, tow is a towpath for the old Clinton Ditch parallel to enlarge towpath and here's the enlarge canal right here. So skiing east to west we're coming back to uh, Blackbrook County Park um, trail link over here. There's the bridge <clears throat> cutting across up towards the pavilion area and there's a pond over there, picnic area. And you can, uh, this is one end of the Black Brook Trail in the Passport to Wayne County Trails Park. So we're at the rubbing marker on the Black Brook Trail. Um, the rubbing marker is one of the key features of the 16 Wayne County Passport Trails that we have. And this one um, is located here because right behind me we have the actual Black Brook which at one point was used as a feeder for the uh, Old Erie Canal or Clinton's Ditch and the Enlarged Erie. And um, when you do this trail, you come, you come across to get your rubbing here and you can kind of connect with that history. All right, so to my right on this Wayne County Passport Trail, there's a really unique hidden treasure we have right here. It's part of a, an old original um, Clinton's Ditch lock, and um, lock 65. And it's been cleaned out a little bit over the past couple years, and there's a marked trail over to it across this bridge, so you can go over, take a look at it, and um, maybe not in the winter, but in the summer, you can actually look down in between the stone structures and see the wooden pallet on the bottom of the, the water, which was part of the construction of the old locks. Just west of Gans Road, we have uh, Old Enlarged Erie Canal Lock 54. It's um, right inside the old community of Lock Berlin here. And it's in pretty good condition with some of those stones done in high quality masonry labor back in the day. Ha, 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 ha.